eyes searches and finds the enemy and reports his position. Then another radar turns and seizes upon the target, following it as it approaches and reporting its every maneuver to the computer, while a third radar tells the missile what to do. At the proper moment, the battery commander gives the order to fire. As the missile flies, the computer guides it, and if the target tries to get away, changes the missile's course and commands the target's destruction. careful details were complete with the safety keys release the readied missile to the radar waiting to guide it in its flight. Now there was only time enough left for the final finger exercises. When the warning lights would switch to green, the missile would be ready to fire. Launching control group ready for action. Acquisition ready for red status. Computer ready for red status. TTR ready for red status. NPR ready for red status. Red status. Section A selected. The missile radar pivoted towards the launching area and cast on the missile the electronic beam which would guide it in its flight. Site 2-3, request clearance to fire. Site 2-3, you have final clearance to fire. In split seconds, the missile, armed with high explosives, would act out the role that can also speak with the awful voice of nuclear war. About to fire. Five, four, three, two, one. Fire! Forty seconds to intercept. Thirty seconds to intercept. They could only wait and watch and listen to the heartbeat of a nation's survival. 20 seconds to intercept. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.
Site 2-3, firing successful. 